Shale gas is a natural gas held in rock about a mile underground. Independent regulators oversee its extraction and ensure that the health and safety risks to workers on site and members of the public who may be affected by the work are being properly managed. The Health and Safety Executive is the health and safety regulator for Great Britain. It covers the safety of oil and gas development onshore and offshore and ensures operators comply with health and safety regulations. The Health and Safety Executive is the independent national regulator for health and safety of all uh, industrial processes in the, in the country. Our focus is to ensure that industrial activities are safe uh, for both workers within those activities and for members of the public. We've got a, a long history uh, with oil and gas, both onshore and offshore, uh, ensuring the safety of the operations. Well integrity for us is absolutely critical for the process. Uh, unless you maintain integrity within the well, there's a risk of an uncontrolled release of, of fluids. Uh, we are in a position where we can carry out site visits and we've agreed with the Environment Agency to visit all shale sites um, and conduct joint uh, checks of activities. We also have powers to require improvements of operators if we feel that something isn't being done to an adequate standard and uh, if necessary we can close down operations if we think things are unsafe. Well integrity is key to protecting the environment and the safe extraction of shale gas and oil. Good design and robust construction of wells protects the environment from any unplanned release of fluids. The HSE takes a life cycle approach to well integrity from its design through construction to decommissioning. Firstly, before any work can commence, all operators must complete a well notification. As a start, they need to send us um, design plans for wells, which we will assess uh, and check against geology and for, for purpose, etc. Secondly, the operators need to provide us with details of the competence of the independent well examiners that they'll be using in a quality control role. And thirdly, they have to provide us with weekly reports of construction activities uh, which we will assess against the design standards in, in the original design. The HSE also scrutinises the equipment to be used, how the work will be completed and any activity that could lead to an unplanned release of fluids. The next stage is construction and operation. Operators are required to report weekly on activity on the borehole, casing and drill fluid density. HSE focuses on ensuring wells are designed, constructed, operated, maintained and ultimately abandoned to ensure that the flow of fluids in the well, whether fracking fluids or produced gas or water, is controlled and stays within the well. The final stage of a well's life is decommissioning and abandonment. This must be completed to industry standards, with at least two steel and cement plugs that are over 100 metres thick as part of the required standard. A further notification and weekly reports are required throughout decommissioning and abandonment. Finally, the site is returned to its original condition.